Welcome back everyone. So forgetting Windows login password is a very common problem for every Windows users, including me. But striking on the login page is really frustrating and annoying, especially if you have to do any kind of important work. So in this video, I will share that how you have to reset your Windows 10 or Windows 11 password for both local account and the Microsoft account. And I will not be using any kind of third party tools. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. And before starting guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming video notification. You can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your PC and laptop problem. Alright, so once you are on your login screen on Windows 10 or 11, at the right hand corner, you will find the power icon. So what you have to do, press and hold the shift key from your keyboard. And while holding, you need to click on the power icon. And while holding the shift key only, you will have to click on restart. The computer will now be restarting in the advanced option. And you will find this kind of page in the advanced option. So here you have to click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced option. And then you have to click on command prompt. And the black window of command prompt will be now coming up. Now here in the command prompt, you have to type notepad. Then you have to hit the enter key. This will bring up the notepad. So here in the notepad from the top menu option, you will have to click on file. Then click on save as. The file explorer will be up. Now here where it says save as type, you will have to click on the drop down and choose it to all files. Then from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on this PC. Then you have to scroll down and look for local disk C, double click on it. Then you have to look for the windows folder, double click on it. In the windows folder, you have to look for system 32. So come to the S section, somewhere you will find system 32. Once you get it, again double click on it. Now in system 32, you have to look for a file by the name utilman. So what you can do, you can click anywhere. Then you can type the U key from your keyboard so that you can come to the U section. Or you can keep pressing on the U key until you find a key by the name utilman. And here it is, utilman. So it may take some time to find this file, but make sure that you look for it. Once you get it, make a right click on it. Then click on rename. Now just copy this file name. Right click on it again, choose copy. So once you have copied, now you have to rename it as utilman1. So once you are done, now you have to look for another file by the name cmd. So again, you can click anywhere, then press the C key. And keep pressing the C key until you find cmd. So once you get CMD, again make a right click on it, click on rename. Now paste the name that you copied from Utilman. So right click on it and click on paste. And then you are all done. Now simply click on cancel and close the notepad, close the command prompt and then click on continue. So the computer will be restarting again. So again, wait for the login screen. So now once the computer gets restarted, on the right hand corner, you will find this icon that says ease of access. Now many of you, especially on Windows 11, they will find another icon that looks like a human icon. So you will have to click on it. And as soon as you click on it, the command prompt will be coming up. And here in the command prompt, you have to type control space user passwords number two, then hit the enter key. And once you hit the enter key, this kind of a user account box will now be popping up. Now it will display all kind of your user account that you have created. And if you're using a local account, at the bottom you will find the reset password option. But in case if you're using an online account or Microsoft account, then you will not find this option highlighted. I will also share the solution for that. But in case if you are using a local account and you get this option highlighted, then here from the username, choose the right username local account that you are using, select it, then click on reset password. Now here you can type your desired password, whatever you want to. If you don't want any kind of password, then you go and simply click on OK. And click on OK again. Now if I close the command prompt. And click on the password and hit the enter key. So you can see without entering any password, now it will take me directly to my desktop. So now you are good to go. But in case, if you are using a Microsoft account, then again, you will have to click on this ease of access icon or human icon, whichever you see. Again, the command prompt will be up. 
type the same command control user passwords number two and hit the enter key this time what you have to do from the top menu option here you will have to click on advanced again click on advanced and this kind of local user and group box will be now coming up so here you have to click on users double click on it so what exactly we are doing here we are creating a new local account so that you can sign in with a new local account because you are not able to sign in with the microsoft account all right so just make a right click here pull up to new user click on it now give your desired username so for example i will type geek no need to type anything in the full name in the description password i will keep as it is no password i will keep then you have to uncheck this option that says user must change password at next logon uncheck this option then click on create now you can close it so now this time if i close it close everything so this time again it will be asking you for the password but what exactly you have to do from the login screen only now if you look at the left hand corner at the bottom you will find that new local account that we just created so you can click on that user account so as we have not added any kind of password so it won't ask the password now it will be just configuring the new local account so wait until it's all being done bingo so now you are inside a new local account now you might have a question that what about the data that you had on your old microsoft account so what you can do you can bring up the file explorer then from the left hand menu option you can click on this pc go to local disk c and here you have to click on users look for the user account that was your old user account double click on it and here you'll find all your data that you had on your desktop document everything will be displayed over here all right so you can just copy all the data from here and you can move it to your new user account so now once you have resetted the password there is still some important work that you have to do we need to revert some kind of changes that we made all right so again you can lock your screen so now once you come to the login page and you click on this ease of access icon at the right hand corner so it's coming up with a command prompt okay this is only because we made some kind of changes in order to fix the problem but we have to revert this action so for that again press and hold the shift key from your keyboard click on this power icon then click on restart click restart anyway click on troubleshoot click on advanced option click on command prompt once the command prompt comes up again you have to type here notepad hit the enter key click on file click on save as click on this pc and scroll down click on local disk c double click on windows look for system 32 double click on it and here make sure that save as type option has been selected to all files so that it can display all kind of files once you have selected again you have to look for the file by the name utilman so keep pressing the u key until you find the utilman so now this time you will find here two file by the name utilman so first look for the one that is with the cmd command prompt icon that says utilman right click on it choose rename and rename it to cmd then look for utilman1 right click on it click on rename and remove number one and that's it click on cancel click on close close the command prompt click on continue so now this time when you come to the login page and click on ease of access so this will be working properly and not be opening any kind of command prompt page so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful to fix and reset your windows 10 or 11 password if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.